This video is sponsored by Thermoking, manufacturers of transport temperature control solutions. Visit thermoking.com for more information. All right, good morning. We are here in Atlanta for the TMC annual meeting and expo. Uh, before the show hours later this afternoon, uh, we're gonna go take a look at the Spicer electrified medium duty vehicle and uh, get the inside uh, look at the equipment there. So come along. So yeah, kind of walk me through here. What, do I, uh, what am I looking at? What's all the equipment and yeah, how does it work? So um, I guess the key part here is if you look at the uh, the motor and inverter system we have. So this is our uh, you know high volume production Sumo MD uh, motor and inverter, our C200 inverter specifically. Um, the motor makes 2,760 Newton meters of uh, peak torque. That's equivalent to what a uh, Cummins ISX 15 liter you know diesel. So you get a lot of torque out of this motor. Okay. Um, it's a central direct drive configuration, so that's connected to a drive shaft directly to our P20060S drive axle. So again, all of this is production parts from the, from the motor, the inverter, the drive shaft, the drive axle. From a systems integration standpoint, what you're seeing is this battery management system kind of module. So you have power electronics. You also you can see there's a there's a pump there. Mm -hmm. So for the uh, for the braking system, that still air brakes in this vehicle as well as the air suspension. You have to have a, a there's, we have a 208 volt three phase motor that, that runs the compressor for that. From a power steering perspective, same thing. 208 volt uh, motor three phase that runs the power steering. The motor and inverter system is cooled, so to, to keep the performance there, so we did leverage the, uh, the original radiator there, so there's a cooling system that, uh, that manages that. So uh, yeah, really nice package, you know, fit that, that module, that cradle in, in place of the diesel engine. Right. You got the central direct drive motor and inverter, and uh, again, all production parts from a drive train standpoint. Okay, so then these would be standard axles, not electrified axles? In this particular, so this con particular configuration is the uh, uh, direct drive motor. Okay, right. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, we have a number of, again, E-axles that we're developing. So, you know, in the, in the Hylion truck behind us, that has a, a Dana E-axle configuration. And we're developing a further optimized E-axle for that application as well. Okay. So, yeah, within that world, I guess, how do you split that? I mean, do you, is there an advantage to having both an electrified axle and a motor? Do you have to choose one or the other? I think it's, it's really about, you know, customer preferences. The one, though, with a, with a central direct drive approach, these are available now. They're production validated yeah. solutions. You can see that they work in existing chassis very easy to upfit in existing chassis right um, and then the, the e axles will offer additional benefits as those become production available um, give additional packaging space for batteries or yeah. any configuration side steps on the vehicles we're talking about a step van and so those will offer uh, additional advantage as well so they're both great solutions okay and, uh, i think a lot of it is timing right as, well as vehicle configuration this is a class six vehicle twenty six thousand pounds right um, you know meets all the performance requirements this vehicle can start on a 23% grade, it can maintain 20% uh, grade at 20 miles per hour, and the vehicle has a top speed of 67 to 70 miles per hour. So it meets wow. all the typical right. performance requirements that are required that uh, the customers need. To, it's a drop-in solution. Right. 